Hello, and welcome to Big Red Journeys. I'm, oh, boy. I know, it's Big Red. And on today's journey, we're here at the Mermaid's Fleet Science Center. Hey, go check it out. Have a good old time. So if you care to follow along with me on this journey, let's go. Woo! Ooh, look at this. We got a spaceman up in the atrium. And some lighting to look like, I don't know, lasers or tractor beams? I can't tell you. But let's go get our tickets. Admission to the museum, you got single admission ticket prices, adults, 24.95, seniors, 65 and older, 22.95, juniors, 19.95. You can, of course, upgrade to a membership. They have individual, individual plus, household plus, and adventure and voyager. Also, if you do want to just purchase an additional uh, IMAX film, they're $9.95 each. Look at the schedule here because some of these films are only playing once per day. We also have some special days. Senior Mondays, first Monday of the month. Pay $10 to enjoy the galleries, film and lecture. Of course, San Diego does have residence free Tuesday. So uh, the museums here in Balboa Park, they vary on the Tuesdays. So the first Tuesday of the month here, the fleet is absolutely free for San Diego County residents. The sky tonight, and accessibility mornings, third Saturday of the month at 9 a.m. They'll do quieter mornings for those who may have sensory issues. Well, look at this. We're all checked in and greeted with a some sort of rainbowy looking light bridge right here. That's pretty cool. Ah, very nice, very nice. So let's see. It looks like we got about two floors here in the main portion of the Science Center. Stairs, and I do know it's ADA accessible. The IMAX either is back over that away. The first floor is where we're currently at right now. We have things like Studio X, Creatividad, Silvestre, Wild Creativity. The giant drone theater is going to be to our right hand side. We do have an IMAX theater a little bit later at three. But then we have some exhibits here called Illusion. It's electric. The restrooms, I don't think that's an exhibit. It might be, who knows? Stroller parking and the X as well. And then to our left, the space gallery, the elevator, and family restrooms. And on the second floor, we got Kid City. Color in a new light, design zone, and ball pool. I know this is going to be where like more like the special or temporary exhibits are going to be. And I believe, yes, that is the the virtual reality ride, which you know what? We may do as well too a little bit later. And they're $9.95 a person per ride or $8.95 if you're a fleet member. And they go daily from 11 till 30 minutes prior to fleet's closing time for the day. It has been several years since I have been here to the fleet. I used to come here all the time as a kid. This was like a yearly tradition for field trips at the schools that I would go to. Um, and even when I was an adult, because again, I used to work at the Natural History Museum, which was right across the way. So I come here quite often uh, just to play around for a little bit, like on a lunch break or even on a day off. There's going to be a lot here that is newer that I'm just not as familiar with including all these white walls here. I don't remember this in recent time. It's like they're separating all the exhibits out recently before they used to be all like one big open space that you can play around with. Well, let's start off with electric. It's electric, excuse me. Okay, so this talks about, I'm assuming, everything has to do with electricity and the science behind it. Oh, uh, these are always fun. Plasma tubes, you touch it and it follows your, your body around. That's pretty fun. Ooh, I control the power. It's like Emperor Palpatine. Ooh, a Tesla coil, a big one too. So does somebody actually go in it or something? Oh, okay. So it looks like we get, there's demos that happen every so often. But yeah, unfortunately I don't see a schedule around here for demos. So we'll see if we can maybe catch it later. Two hours later. Oh, of course, thanks to Samuel B. Morse, we got Morse code here. It, I, 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 H, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. C S E O. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not very good with this Morse code thing. Can't they just text? Ooh, a Jacob's ladder. These are always cool because you see a current electricity going up those wires right there. So let's uh, push the button here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, it's so cool. So you can actually do a little magic trick right here. So let's go. We're gonna press this button and look at this. What happens to this a metal ring right there? Woo! Where'd you go? One more time. 
That is cool. And if you're good and you do it at the same time, you can actually get stuck in the middle like that. And very, very important for this science center, hand sanitizer. You need this. These kids with all these germs, you need this. Next up, illusions. It's not what you see, it's how you see. So I'm gonna assume things of optical illusion. Oh, these are pretty cool. These are the ones they have to see like the spots. What is it? You are floating spots and your brain thinks you are. Oh yeah, that's true. It probably doesn't pick up well on camera, but you see how some of the lights, how the, like the circles inside, it'll turn dark, but it's really not. It's just the optical illusion in my eyes. It's pretty crazy. These are always fun. These are the ones that just prove that this one says which arc has the most curvature. You compare the arcs, you determine which one has the more curvature. But you take your little nifty tool here and figure out that they all have actually the same curvature. Periodolia. That is when you and your brain kind of find faces in inanimate objects. I do that actually quite often. Like here, this is something, what is this? I have no idea. It's a little uh, like a street light. There's a light right there. But you get the eyes, a nose with a smile. I do that all the time. So there's a cut tree right there. You got the big old eyes and a nose making faces out of everyday objects. So what do you see here? Do you see a candelabra? Or do you see two faces looking at each other? What about here? Can anybody see the bunny or did they just see nothing but a bird? And then same here. Do you see the young lady? Or the old lady. Why did this? Why does the fleet have to make me feel old? They got this exhibit called Flashback, which of course has all the exhibits and little experiments that I remember as a kid. Why do they gotta do that? This was always one of my favorite ones. So you got a guitar right here with some strings. You roll the little cylinder, and you actually can pluck them. But then if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it in camera. You can actually see the sound vibrations of the chords against the background. Look at that. And Haunted Mansion theme right there. This is the effect that's being used right before you get on the ride with the two busks that are there in the library. Nice lovely picture of the Krabby Nebula. The Hubble telescope. Anatomy of it. There's the Hubble telescope with some astronauts doing a little bit of a spacewalk fixing her up. And an antique English Planetarium circa 1809. So you can see the planets rotating around. So we got the sun right there. And then of course all the planets are lined up in our galaxy. Earth with her moon. And then Saturn with the rings and her moons. But still, little Pluto all the way right here. Rest in peace, Pluto. I love these things. So it's kind of like a, it's a vortex. It does show up at like the rotation of the Earth and the planet. The sun essentially is the middle. Uh, but it's just toxic and a black hole essentially too. But it talks about the rotation, the gravitational pull rotating around. And here's the marble. Well, that was a little fun adventure right there. It wasn't too bad for $10. I think it ended up being like about like seven minutes or so, give or take. Uh, and it was pretty cool. The graphics weren't that bad. It was kind of like a, you know, 10 year old graphic, but it was still pretty cool. You got to dive in there. They had some real creatures, the Megalodon, the Coelacanth. Um, what else did they have? Mosasaur, pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Definitely worth it. Um, I did get a little uneasy towards the end and it's just strictly because of the visuals. Not really the motion of the ride. It was the visuals of, you know, that 3D fake effect that you kind of get the headache on. 
So that was the only thing I really noticed. Outside that, it was really fun. But they're talking about prairie dogs in their homes. Look at that. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. We got the prairie dog hills. So they got the mounds. The air moves more quickly over a tall mound, which causes the speed of the height and the shape of the, mount, of the air speed to change, forcing air into the lower portion of their holes and then ventilating out, giving them fresh air and cooling them during the hot days and keeping them warm during the winter days. So we got this little machine here is actually pumping air. So we have to keep the prairie dog happy by fixing the airflow. So we got these little mechanisms here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so far so good. Okay, green. Oh, no, we need more. We need more. Oh, we need to. There we go. Yep, you see, we did, we did some work there. I don't know what we did, but we're making the prairie dogs happy. We got a couple little, almost like arcade games, but this one it talks about how the jumping mechanisms of animals, specifically this one about fleas. So I guess we got this little thing we gotta shoot here and try to make it into a cat, a dog, or a horse. Okay, ready, launch. Oh, first shot at the horse. And in Studio X, is a little tinkering studio. So you actually are more than welcome. Here's the hours that they have, 11 to 1, 1 30 to 4 30. But they have a little project that you and your family can build with parent supervision, of course. A little cardboard house. They got a few workstations there, as you can see. They got things like glue gun, ruler, scissors, glue, sticks, whatever you want, pencils. And you can see some of the other cool little projects that they've done in the past. That's pretty nifty. Oh look, somebody's already built out a nice little village going on. That's pretty cool. Here's some more cool little projects that were done here at the Studio X. Oh, that would have been cute little magnetic critters. That would have been fun. And, an, oh, Automata. That's what it's called, an automation machine. And there's the spider, I guess, moose. That's pretty nifty. And they do have some lockers if you do need it here. Uh, public locker usage. You just toss three quarters, pop them in, and you get the little, little key so you can make sure to get your items if you need to. This is really nice. If you lose it though, if you lose the key, there is a $5 replacement fee. But that's very nice. Well, these things are always fun. These are the ones you put your little hand impression into them. Go on the back side, let's see. Oh, they're heavy. And they're pokey too. Some heavier ones over here on this side. Oh. Ah. So now we're in the little dome area. So like I said, that is where the actual IMAX dome theater is going to be. And this is something that's really new that I've never known about. They actually have movie theater popcorn and snacks here. <laughs> like, look, they got a popcorn machine. They actually got the hot tamas, the Mike's and Ike, Kit Kat, cotton candy, beverages. I never know you could bring in food here. This might be newer to me. Oh, they also do have some beer and wine as well, too. So drinks, $3.99 for water and soda. A slushie is $4.49. You got combos here. You got candy, $3.99, cotton candy, $6.99. How much of popcorn? $5.99. Prices are actually not terrible, to be honest with you. Now, can you eat these throughout the museum or just in this area? I think it's just in this spot alone or inside the theater. So we'll confirm that in a second. So that answers our question. No food or drinks are allowed beyond this point. The world's longest running Max IMAX film projector. Wow. Well, obviously, it's no longer running now, but... Uh, to this, oh, this Lego Surfer? That is pretty cool. I like that. A chaotic pendulum. So this one has the energy. So you can actually kind of stop it. Like what I'm doing right now. But then what you do is if you spin a few times, it'll act all crazy because of the initial force of the extremities going around. That just causes it to go back and forth, back and forth, and just go all wiggly wobbly. Look at that. I don't know what the name of this instrument is called, but I do know this is what the Blue Band Group uses, something like that with the pipes, PVC pipes, so you can make, make some lovely music. And all mothers know how to use these chanclas very well. Not necessarily related to science, but of the founder, Ruben H. Fleet, a little history about him. Uh, look at this, so there's the Fleet family at the opening of the actual the space theater and science center on 
March 10, 1973. Now that year is not the year I was born, but that is my birthday. Huh, nice little painting portrait of the gentleman himself. Oh, look at that. With President Woodrow Wilson. And according to this, it says that he was commissioned by Woodrow Wilson to organize the first airplane mail service. Interesting, and the first ailment route was between Washington, D.C. and New York City. And there he is on the cover of Time Magazine, November 17, 1941. Well, let's go up to the second level now. Check you out. Oh, okay, so this is it, but yeah, this is something I remember from not too long ago. This talks about kind of like San Diego, the water cycle, energy conservation, whatnot. This represents a large diameter pipe that carries water to San Diego. And with the recent rains that we've been having, I bet you a bunch of these are probably blocked as well, too. <laughs> we got the water cycle right here. So we're going to press the button to start hydrologic cycle. So we've got the rains that go into the mountains here. They go down the lakes, the rivers, and streams. Down here into the freshwater reservoirs like Otai Lakes and whatnot, which of course then we have it dammed up. Water goes in through there. We get hydroelectric power as well as water going up down and through so then we spin the wheel here to represent the water going up the hill and the mountains and then treatment flow if they need it and goes through the process of going to your houses a kugel bond machine these are always cool because all they usually have like some sort of like ping pong ball or in this case billiard balls you spin the wheel and we start a ball up there you're going to keep giving some energy so the balls go up and down Let's follow the orange one now. Get some energy. Woo! And knock one down there. And into the pan. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Kids City. This is pretty much just a purely little kids play area right there. Hence the city vibe to it. You can see they got skyscrapers fire trucks and everything there's some signs involved to it i don't want to record too many of this kids going on here but uh yeah this is just for the five and under test your reaction time so i guess you put this uh doohickey up there magnetize at least we're trying to here there we go gotta catch it ready there we go and I guess there's like some times on the back there. I got it about 0.24 seconds. Huh? We got some 3D printed scientists. So apparently all six of these ladies are local scientists in various fields here in San Diego. And then those that are on the wall over here are those of the LGBTQ and queer communities and what they do in their roles in science as well. That's pretty nifty. <coughs> Love the representation as well as the pretty walls too. And look, all these statues right here are actually 3D printed. It's crazy how that is. Heading into the design zone now. Let's see what this has. The ball pool is open, folks. The ball pool is open. So yes, there is a big ball pit for you to enjoy. We may have to go in. Before entering the pool, please place your shoes and loose items in the cubby. So the ball pit is supposed to represent you escaping from quicksand. So there's some steps if you ever get caught in quicksand. Now you know how to get out. They got this wall right here. So you're supposed to pretend like you're escaping from rising floodwaters. And there's various like, I don't know, holding on points right there for you to kind of like do some climbing. You ever want to design your own roller coaster? Well, here's a cool little thing about the launch angle and doing the math so that we get the right proportions when they make a roller coaster. So there's these bars right here, two through eight, and depending on what number you want to hit, you have to do some math. So for example, if we're trying to hit, let's go with red, red six, you have to do a math of algebra, six times six is 36. So you gotta put this little doohickey to 36. And put the ball in there and let her rip. Bullseye. 
Wow, the monochromatic room. So this wallpaper is a various color, but because of that light and the way that's patterned, it all shows up into just one monochromatic color. Like different various shades of like gold and browns. That is crazy, but look, there's a light here. You'll see what happens in a say, ready? Woo, look at all the color. It's a rainbow effect. Light on. Crazy. Oh, this one talks about the CMY K colors. Cyan, magenta, yellow, black. But this is a good representation of the process when they make silkscreen t-shirts. They always do it layer by layer. And now you can see how the picture is starting to come into play. We put the blue on now. Even more colors and really now you can really tell the color. And we put the black to finalize it. And look at that. Look at this. So what we got here? Oh, that is cool. Look at this. That is trippy. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Like you can move around. And it looks like the scene changes as well too. Touch the spring. Look into the gap where you see reach inside and touch the spring. There, there, there's, there's no spring. What's going on? Ah, it's the pepper's ghost effect. It looks just like a spring is there. Ooh, a kaleidoscope effect here. Ooh, that's, ooh. that's pretty cool. Here, a little pendulum. We're gonna get it going. But then we're gonna spin the wheel down here and turn the light on and look at the design we can kind of come up with. Oh, this is so cool. That's pretty cool, look at that. Well, that's going to do it pretty much for the main portion of the science center the two floors right there we pretty much went through all of them showed up some of the exhibits now what we're going to do is we're going to wait because we have a 3 p.m showing of the caves uh, imax video i don't think there's any recording in the imax so unfortunately i won't be able to show you anything there uh, actually i'll show you a little bit of how it looks before the film starts so you kind of get an idea of what the theater itself looks like but of course we're also going to try some snacks uh, probably get a quick bite to eat over at the cafe and of course check out the store when all is said and done just outside of the Science Center, they do have a cafe called Craviology. It used to be called Galileo's Cafe. There's going to be some quick service items, so let's just take a quick look to see what's inside. So it looks like for some quick service items, we do have things like sandwiches and wraps and salads. Uh, they do also have some adult beverages. Looks like they got some hard cider, IPA, salty crew, Buena Vesa, some wine, energy drinks, snacks for the little ones some applesauce, milk, cookies. We got buffalo tenders, chicken tenders, the spicy smoked turkey and pepper jack cheese sandwich, a grilled cheese, meatball sub, pepperoni flatbread, tomato basil flatbread. That's the fresh and ready, those sandwiches right there that we saw earlier. And if you want some snacks, all beef hot dog for $6.99. They also do have a kid's menu. $6.99 for an all beef hot dog, mini cheese pizza, or mini chicken corn dog. And you can make it a kid's combo with chips or fruit and a milk juice box or soda. They also do have some cafes, some coffees. They got some pop, small and large. You can see some pop lands, mocha, lattes, hot chocolates, cold drinks such as cold brew, iced tea, slushy, etc. And they got little waves in motion. So I guess we just gotta push the button. Oh, see, okay. So you got circular waves and the motion that they make. We got transverse waves, which are more like that up and down motion. And longitudinal waves, which go back and forth like that. And what's pretty cool is that when you turn this on, if you go to the other side of the machine, you can see the mechanism moving those waves. That's actually pretty cool. 
Well, look at that. So we ended up getting inside the theater to give you kind of a good eye view of things. So that right there is literally the projector. We're sitting in the first row. There's a thing of plexiglass right over there. So we have to worry about people in front of us. There is two levels, as you can see there, a little bit of split in the middle, because they do have somebody who lectures every so often from there too. Uh, good amount of views in the area. There's really not a bad seat in the house, obviously a little more next train when you get a little more forward to the front. Prime spots are gonna be those middle seats right over there. We all know that a visit cannot end until we go into the gift shop. I see we got some uh, cool toys, light brights, some STEM, ooh, build your own crystal science kits. Moroccan geodes. Oh, okay. Little nifty little toys here. Ah, what else do we have here? Some rock minerals. Of course, the ones grab your own stones in a bag. I uh, got some whale toys as well. A little stuffed animal, an axolotl. A pink version of a fighter pilot jacket. It's actually pretty cool. Here's some branded merchandise. They got this jacket over here. A honestly kind of like sport material shirt. Ooh, it's not a hoodie. It's actually kind of like a, I don't know, a midriff, a little track jacket style thing. It's pretty cool. Here's a shirt that they have there with an astronaut and a galaxy. That's pretty nifty. Of course, they have to have some space toys. Have some finger puppet slash magnets here. Uh, I got Plato, Kurt Goodell, Alan Turing, Sorin Kierkegaard. Interesting. But this, the soaps are cool. Look, Allosaurus. Get it? It's Jurassic soap. That's really good. We can wash it. Benjamin Franklin guest soap. Fish and visitors smell in three days. That's very true. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Cardboard guy here. Oh, he's got a paintbrush and some stuff. I wonder if he actually moves or is just there for looks. What is this? Cricket snacks. In various flavors. Look, and they come in this cool little... A little test tube kind of things. Indian curry, white cheddar, cotton candy, Italian lasagna, mole, mango hainer, orange creamsicle. I don't know about that, but this Indian curry one may call my name because I do like cricket snacks. Okay. Also, it looks like there is an ATM machine here at the entrance to the gift shop. So that's good to know if you need cash. Well, that's going to do it for today's journey here at the Ruben H. Fleet Science Center in Balboa Park. I had a great time. I hope you did as well too watching the video. If you did, do me a huge favor, give it a big thumbs up for me. Second, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Third, hit that notification bell. And of course, make sure to follow me as well on social media at Big Red Journeys on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. So from me to you, thank you. And then I'll see you on the next journey. Bye-bye now.